Oh, they're attacking our armies. They are marching to Soria. I'm going to get out of here. When do I leave? 9th of June, you arrive. 11th of June. So when you're locked in, I'm going to go and attack you. Although, how much attrition is there here? Because 10% attrition is n not very palatable for me. Unfortunately, this is a winter war, so winter wars are a lot more dangerous. But then again, I can wipe out their army. And I would like to do that. I'm going to wipe out their army. We'll take the um, hit. As long as you can hold until the 27th. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Boom. Hi. Bye. No, I've got a tick. This is not good. Ow. I declared war on Castile because I want to make free money. You... Are still exceptionally cold yet? No, we're not. We're not going there. <laughs> I'll let them beat up my minions for a time, unless you go into Valencia, in which case I will totally mess you up. What? They weren't locked ever. Oh, for Pete's sake! Let's move you back to Zaragoza just in case. Oh, I did catch you. You lied to me. Oh, that was artillery. That's going to be expensive. Right, so they are on low. Unfortunately, I don't have any war score against them, so I can't actually claim anything. But yeah, I could make 720 ducats out of this war, so I think it's going to be profitable. Because their army is definitely taking an absolute spanking. I just need to be really careful with the suffering casualties costing 12 ducats a month issue. It's not cheap. I feel like this plus 10 attrition thing has lasted the entire year. I thought it might be a seasonal thing that comes and goes, but no. Yeah, it's just everywhere. Um. State war contributions. Good, I need that. Because the minions are doing a good job taking stuff. And in fact, their armies are so small that we're not losing attrition from them. They're leaving. Spoil sports. That's quite a few people. Let's send in some reinforcements. Also, my good general has died. Let's not go via Spain. Let's go for a friend. No, not via that. Go that way. So I'm going to assume that this is all of the Spanish forces up there. They've actually split their forces rather nicely. We're going to go and cut them up a bit. And we lost our general, so I'm going to hire a new one. Here we go. That's better. Uh, do I want you both going? No, I don't. Stack wipe. Nice. Alright, so we now have 13 war score against them, so we can demand things. And they would accept the money. And the war reparations. 
So I need to get to 50% war score to get the humiliation, which is what this is about, really. And the money. And I suspect that I can get to 40%, uh, to 50% actually relatively easily. Actually, it looks like the minions are going to go and kill them for me, which is very good of them. Alright, so supply limits and all the captured stuff is fine. I have become trusting. My advisors cost less. You know what? I'm okay with this. Was that me or my heir? That's me. You consider that a bad thing? Oh, corruption goes up, I guess. Uh, you don't need to go there anymore. Oh, crushed. The AI does not know how to handle these smaller armies. That's the conclusion I am coming to here. Let's send you south. You can hold the north. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be going into a debt or into a uh, loan or two while we're fighting this, but still profit. And that's without the looting that we've done. Uh, can I see that? Loot pool. Yeah, see? We're carrying 430 ducats worth of loot. So apparently all the money that these guys are taking absolutely count. And the other thing is, our territory is not taking any damage whatsoever. And we're going to be doing a ton. Actually, we're not. I was going to say we're going to be doing a ton of devastation damage, but we're not. Uh, ooh, that's only a 13, that's a 21. Let's go stand here. Relic recovered. French forces have secured a Christian relic from the Castellan Church, where it was being held. It is a nail from the crucifixion identified by St. Helena and brought back to Constantinople from Jerusalem, one of only a few in existence. This will surely inspire the faithful to new heights of passion. Build an appropriate shrine. Orléans gets a pilgrimage route, which is a 20-year-long trade power boost for a five ducats. Do it. And I will take a loan if I must. That's a fuck ton of interest. Oh, well. Castile or pay. It's fine. Right, what's the war score reduction thing? We're at minus nine already. Oh, I see you trying to sneak through. Thankfully, you didn't attack him. I think you're determined to try and get to France so you could actually do some damage to me. Until you're locked, and then move in here and murder you. That's 2,000 dead. That's a lot of smoke coming from whatever the hell that was. I don't think they've invented smokeless cartridges yet. Let's head back to. San Juan. We're next door to the capital. Where's the English army gone in the meantime? Smoke from looting. Yeah, it must be. I thought I told you to go to San Juan. Because they're currently beating up my minions, and I don't like that. It is no longer an exceptionally cold season, so I can now actually move my main armies around. Alright, so which of my minions has the largest army right now? That would definitely be Burgundy. So Burgundy, your objective is to take... Th that's Armanac. Where's Burgundy? Oh, right. This thing scrolls, doesn't it? There we are. 
Burgundy, go and take that. Toledo needs to be somebody else. Who has the second highest? And I know my cannons are about to get attacked, so we need to investigate that soon. Foie! Foie goes for that. Oh no, that's not my cannons. Yes, it is. Oh, you're about to get annihilated. Sorry, but also not sorry. I may as well send the cannons over here then. Indeed. You're going to Castilla Nueva. Come on, lock in. Let's go murder them. Yes, this is a mod. Mayo and taxes. I have to ask chat, does just no one ever read titles? Because it's in the title. Another dead. Alright, their armies are basically gone. We have completely annihilated them in this war. I did not expect this war to be this easy. Yeah, we need to take the capital. That's where the problem lies right now. Supply limit is actually really high, so it would only be the siege penalties that we'd be suffering here. Let's go and grab the cannons and send them in as well. You're going to Avila. Avila is actually a little bit further away, so we won't follow. Seviovia, though, is next door. I'll see you there. I'm taking 3% attrition, so we're going to be paying out for uh, attrition reinforcements here. Murder... M oh, minus 3. Ouch. Thankfully, they've only got 4,000 men here. Ooh. My minion's going to win a fight. That would be nice. No. Disappointed! So who is the best siege general? Please be this guy. They're both the same. Estate war contributions, that helps. I was looking a little bit nervously at that. more dead. Leader trait. Fort defense plus... F How does that help? Unless that's a national plus five. Shock damage received is really good at this era. Let me just double check how defensiveness works. If that's just a national nationwide bonus. Uh, there it is. Siege ability. No, that's siege ability. Where's defensiveness? There it is. Plus 4.5 army tradition power projection... Development level. Teaming! It's gone up! No. So how does plus five defensiveness work? By the very point of it, if you're in a province, then you're not using the fort anymore. I'm just going to go backwards and forwards through here. They seem determined to rush through there. And I'm quite happy to punish them for this. Even if it is at minus three. Alright, how much am I carrying in loot now? Because it's going to be a lot. That's gone down. Oh no, it's because we've actually carted home 267 ducats and we're still carrying 606. Sweet. We're going to be making some money. This was a fantastic plan. Whoever came up with this plan is a master. Oh yeah, it was me. This cost me almost nothing, one loan. Tiny bit of manpower. Like 10,000. Gain three army professionalism. The strain that military lifestyle puts the men who serve under can only 
can under good circumstances... That's such a bad sentence. The strain that military lifestyle puts the men under can, under good circumstances, lead to the development of a spirit belonging to and cooperation that greatly strengthens the armed forces. Are you going to get there in time? Yes, I think you are. But I think, yes, you... Oh, they've retreated already. Uh, okay, let's move over here. Back to here and murder some more. Only one percent, come on. You've stopped moving, you've just died. Yeah, I think we're just going to be going to Segovia once again. Minus 14, so that can go up to 44. And once we captured the capital, that's going to go up even more. Remember, we only need 50 war score and this war is over. Scotland! Our royal marriage has ended. Uh, we're allied with you, so yes, we'll go ahead and renew that. Hang on, you would steer trade to me. That wouldn't really benefit us. The one that I really want to have steer trade is Flanders. Or uh, transfer trade power, even. You know what? You're actually sodding close to doing that. I'm going to imp yes, I'm going to improve relations with Flanders, with the intention that they should transfer trade power to me, because if they're doing that, they have a lot of trade power in here. If I can get them to do that, then I will be an awful lot less likely to kill you, like an awful lot less. Castile wants out. Oh, poor Castile. Habeas Papam. It's mine again. New Pope is acceptable. Let's make sure we keep him. Alright, so that dude is trying to run away. Probably to try and siege some of my stuff down. That's just not good. Can we please win this sodding siege? Crikey! 3% due to siege. We've been sitting there for a while. Appointing new cardinals. Uh, we'll suggest a few good names. Back up to four. Good. Catching you. No, you ran away. The other way. 64%. Are you kidding me? Come on. Papal Concentry. Only a few. We wish to restrict access to the Pope. To just me. Sack of Valadoid. Professionalism when we lose money. Till every soldier stand firm disasters will be harshly punished. We lose prestige. Or we lose a bunch of professionalism. I mean, sack it. Yeah, we lose professionalism, but it was on the way down anyway. I think we're down to about six. Your army really did suffer. All right, so they would at this juncture accept the peace, I think. Yeah, they would. They would accept more beyond that. Transferring trade power would be a bit much. This this will do me. We get the humiliation, we get the reparations, we get 740 ducats, plus all the loot. Noble levies return, we treated their soldiers well. Marriage to secure the peace? Nope. Don't need it. We lost 31,000. We lost 43,000 to attrition. They lost 40, 30... Alright, so they lost 40,000 to combat. We lost 40,000 to attrition. But we absolutely spanked them when it came to the actual fighting. And so, 10% of their income is 1.2 ducats a month. Nice. We will send you home. 
And we will soon be doling out the loot as well. Spoils of war. Ah, now it's telling us what the downsides are. So unrest in all cause for two years. And morale of army goes down by two. Or plus three unrest everywhere for two years. Morale goes down for two years. And a 90% chance that we lose a stability. Oh, it's a 95% chance there. This is actually less of a chance that we lose stability. Oh no, 90% chance of uh, no effect. 95% chance of no effect. I was misreading that. I'm going to steal it all. No stability loss. We're good. And I now have a grand in the bank. I'll repay my loan. We came out of that 700 ahead. And we got the Humiliation CB, which puts me at 75% power projection. So we get the plus one to all uh, things for quite a long time. I can then send diplomats out to go and cancel my military access. With you and with Navara. We are debt free and we have made a bunch of cash. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to build a commune hall here. Because we want to expand you. And we could build another one. Probably here if it doesn't have one already. It has one. What about uh, trade? It does not have a trade thing. 300 for a trade thing. Go ahead. No, I, I do want more commune halls. And I think I'm going to do this in order of how much development they have. And also, you produce grapes. Yeah, Gascony definitely wants a commune hall. And there we go. We still have money ahead. Pissed off the Burkers. Greater Nobles as well a little bit, but they'll get over it. Uh, I'm going to offer you a favour and give you your autonomy for a bit again. Decade of self-rule. There we go. You have recovered rather a lot. Not going to do any of those. That was very, very successful. So, Brittany. Feeling worried yet? Brittany has an army, but only a very, very small one. I think I'm going to move my army up here. What's the mod I'm using? Mio and Taxes. You can find it on Steam Workshop. Mm, you do more fire damage. I could really do with improving the or increasing the number of infantry units I have. I think I am going to do this. I'm going to bring up the number of infantry to six. And easily maintain that. We get three for now. I'm surprised I didn't get more prestige for that. That was a great victory. Low manpower. That's fine. It will recover over time. We're only just in low, I think. Lesser nobles demand privileges. Ah, uh, they want the increase to taxes, which I really don't want to give them. Well, this is the lesser nobles. I'm actually kind of okay giving access or giving stuff to the lessers. Because I've stripped their ability of becoming greaters. That was an important thing to strip. This one, fine. I, I, I don't want to lose the stability. Because we lose... Oh, we lose two prestige and 25% losing stability. And they lose eight loyalty. You know what? No. Two prestige? Pfft. Fine. Hang on, is there a build queue here? No. Oh, did I only build three or did I build four? I only built three. Ah. I couldn't even remember. I was like... Mm -hmm. So let's group you lot together. 
And we've lost the effects of manpower low. Alright, so Brittany. So England and Castile could definitely enter a coalition, but they are rivals with each other. And even then I could probably take them right now. So let's go ahead and declare war on you. We're gonna rec ah, we're gonna recover the French province. Which means we suffer almost no aggressive expansion, but we can only take the province then. Confirm. Invade. We'll kill their army, and then I'm just going to say, Burgundy, take it for me, please. Because these guys will immediately get their estates and start getting tons of troops. I'm going to say, let them loot. We have no choice. I mean, we have some war exhaustion probably from the previous war, but that's going to burn off very quickly, honestly. And we're going to back off, and we're going to let these guys take it for us. So I don't suffer the attrition. I have to say, that's one of the really nice things about having vassals. <laughs> Just look at them all on their way already. Like, we got this, guys! No worries, king. We got this. And in fact, we've got this to such an extent that I'm just going to send you home and I'm going to stop paying you. Because these guys are just going to come flooding in. Mordred and his raptor pack, yeah exactly. That was such a good idea going to war with Castile, I am very pleased we did that. Ooh, fetch us another ability. Uh, better colonies. We don't seem anywhere even close to getting colonies. Cheaper war taxes. I always forget to do them. Justified war, possibly. Justified war or cavalry armies. Because I do employ an awful lot of cavalry. Nah, justified war. Let's get that AE reduction. We're still in the process of uh, unifying France. Neither of these have hit level 12 yet, and I'm halfway to 13. Stability of France increases, we're at plus one. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at plus one for a time. Usually I kind of gamble this away and use my stability to reduce the strength of my nobles. Although I'm actually just going to have a very quick look to see what privileges you have. Because I would really like to reduce your autonomy even further. Because we have seen how much money we can make if we reduce their autonomy. It's pretty dramatic. Aragon will cede Menorca to Clemson. Wait, Aragon lost? We'll end overlordship of Montferrat. Oh, hang on, where's Montferrat? Montferrat's in HRE. You didn't end your overlordship over Navarra. Because I would have pounced on that. I could go up and admin. I'm about to call something, so no, that would be a terrible idea. Also, another idea group, really? I haven't even started these. They're so sodding expensive, but that's my corruption, isn't it? Actually, you know what? Reducing the uh, estate power would reduce my corruption penalty. But I do want to get centralization up to 40 as quickly as possible. I'm going to leave this until I get that to 40, and then we're going to start eroding away. The other benefit, actually, of going into low stability is that we start regenerating back to one quicker, sooner. Oh, I like this. These are genuine questions. These are genuine choices. 
erode the power of the estates to increase the power of my state? Or allow us to annex vassals faster? No, I'm going to centralise... Uh, I mean, <laughs> wrong usage of terminology there. I'm going to centralise, but not mechanic centralise. Greater nobles, consider yourselves stripped of powers. Repeal significant expansion of local autonomy. 